guys, welcome. If you're new, welcome. My name is Luda, aka Nitty Life, and today we're gonna start something fun and new. Today is August 31st and we have two months left before Halloween, which I'm so excited. And I really wanna do a couple cardigans, kind of spooky cardigans with the back chart like we did Totoro, starting like now, I guess. Because if you've gone to grocery stores and craft stores and other stores, you've already seen Halloween stuff out. And there's a reason for that because earlier you get it on the shelf, you know, more people are able to see it and to buy it before the actual holiday. And so today we're gonna work on something really fun. I found this chart on Pinterest, um, again, bracelet book, you guys always ask me that. So here it is, I am super excited. So it is 72 chains by 98 rows. So it's pretty long, just like our Totoro cardigan. So I haven't decided if I wanna do single crochet or double crochet, but uh, we're gonna start working on that. And um, instead of blue, we're gonna do orange and the background is gonna be black. So when we do the front, it's gonna be black. So I'm super excited, let's get started. I'm again gonna show you only a few rows, maybe four or five rows, how to do it overhead camera. And then I'm gonna make it a vlog for the rest of the video and just kind of speed up the process. But I hope you guys get the hang of it and uh, let's get started. So before I get started, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna go to Michael's and I'm going to buy some yarn. I only have this much of Halloween yarn and it's not gonna be enough for any of my cardigans. So I'm gonna order a couple black, a couple orange, maybe some purple and red. And so let me do that really quick and then we'll get started. Okay, so I just bought some yarn some orange black some different shades of orange so i just got back from michael's and i got a huge bag that i ordered online that you guys saw me and um, the total was 29 dollars and it's a bunch of orange and black yarn so i'm super excited so now let's start crocheting our pattern all right guys let's get started i am so excited so this is going to be very easy because we're only using two colors we're using the black for the background and then the orange, very bright orange for the blue, uh, for Halloween colors, obviously. So now let's get started. I'm gonna be using my 3.5 millimeter hook and we're gonna start by crocheting 75 chains in our black yarn. We are gonna be using single crochet just how we did uh, the Totoro, if you remember. If you haven't seen that, check out my video. It's, um, I'll link it down below. So we're gonna make a slip knot Gonna make sure you guys can see me. Perfect, a slip knot. And we're gonna start chaining 75. So, and that's a size medium oversized, which I really like. And it's, it gives you room to breathe and move around. One, two, three, four, five, 74 and 75. Okay, so we have our chain of 75 and now we're just going to chain one. <clears throat> and we're going to single crochet in our second chain from the hook or our 75th chain. And we're gonna single crochet for 32 chains total. And then we're gonna start adding our collar, which I'm so excited. So one, two, three, 30, 31. And then before we do our 32nd chain, we're gonna grab our orange yarn. I'm gonna use this really bright orange from Impeccable Yarn. Uh, you just get it at Michael's. Uh, you can use you know whatever color you wanna use, but this is just Halloween colors that I want to use. So we're gonna make a um, slip knot on the orange yarn. We have our slip knot. And before we end, we just made 31 chains in our black yarn. So now I'm gonna go in, make our 32nd chain. So go in, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Instead of going with your black yarn and pulling through two, you're gonna grab that slip knot that you made with the orange yarn and you're gonna pull it tight around the hook. And now we're just going to go right through that um, two black uh, chains that were on your hook. So now you join your yarn and you have the black yarn, you can leave it to the right for now because we're not gonna use it. And now we're gonna do 12 chains in orange. So I'm gonna leave this uh, the end in the back because I don't need it right now. So go in and we're gonna do one, two, three. So we need to do 12. I like to carry my yarn so I'm not crossing too much over on the back. It just looks way neater when you do that. So every four chain, we're gonna take our black yarn. We're gonna push it where our orange yarn is and on our fourth chain, we're gonna go through the loop. I hope you guys can see it. But do you see how I grabbed that back um, yarn in the back? So we're gonna 
pull through our orange in four and then keep going. Then we can release the black four, five, six, seven, and then on the eighth, you don't have to do it on the eighth. You can do it the whole way if you want. So I think that was eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. So keep going. Nine, 10, and the 11, I'm gonna do it because why not? 11. <laughs> and then on the 12th, we're gonna change back to our black yarn. So 12, you have two loops on your hook, and now you're gonna switch the orange with the black. Perfect. So here's our 12 chains, and now we're gonna continue all the way in black for 31 chains to make a total of 75 chains. But if you look ahead of time, you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five in orange on our next row. So I'm gonna drag our orange yarn, even though we're not gonna use it for the rest of this row, a little bit over, and I'll show you what I mean. If I'm going too fast, you guys can totally slow it down. You know that, right? Um, I hope. <laughs> so one, two, three, and I'm just gonna drag the orange with me on the fourth. So then on the next level, on the next round, you'll see what I mean. It'll just be easier to use it. And it looks like this. So it's very nice and tucked away. And just continue doing single crochet all the way till the end in black. And I'll meet you guys at the end. So we finished our first round. Congratulations, guys. And always make sure that you're crossing over your stuff wherever you're marking it on. For me, it's this tablet. So I'm just going to really quickly cross over my first row. And perfect. And now let's continue. Now we're going to work from left to right. So we're going to go on the back way. And so let me count some stitches really quick. This is our 75th chain. We're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work around. So this is the wrong side. And you can see that it's the wrong side. You're seeing all the ends on the back. So now let's start crocheting. And we're going to stop five chains before the orange. So one, two, three, four, five. So right before we have our orange yarn, I'll stop there. So go back in the first loop and you're gonna just do single crochet all the way until the five chains. Very simple, guys. Okay, so we're coming up on our fifth chain. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six left. In that six chain, I'm going to go with my black yarn. I'm gonna take my black yarn from the front towards me to the side of the right. Because remember, this is the front, so we wanna keep this clean. And we're gonna pick up our orange yarn or whatever color you're using. And we're going to slip through those two chains. Perfect. And now we're going to do five chains in orange. So one, two, three. Remember, I like to keep my black yarn with it. So on the fourth, I'm just going to put my black yarn flat against the chain. And we're going to go in with our orange yarn. Perfect. And you really can't see anything in the front. And I'll show you when we flip over. And just keep going. One. Two. So we're going to keep going, continue in our orange yarn all the way through this orange and then plus five more on the black uh, yarn. So let's keep going. Just single crochet. One, two, three. And then don't forget to cross over your black yarn. You don't have to, but I think that just gives you such a nice look and a nice finish. And it's so much better when you wear it. You don't have any um, things sticking out or um, looking too weird. <laughs> three and then four perfect yep so you can see how the back is gonna look and keep going all right so now we're to the last of the orange we're gonna go in and now we're going to do five more in orange so we're kind of expanding our skull now so one two three and then on the fourth of course i want to take my black yarn fourth and one more in orange so five and then we're going to take our orange and again bring it towards us to the right to kind of hide it and we're going to continue the rest in our black so we just slip through that perfect and now just go all the way down in black all right we're in the last chain so we did our 75 chains going back way. And again, don't forget to mark your row wherever it is. And let's get back to our third row. So this is our last row before we start interpreting the black in the skull, which is awesome. So let's do this. So we're going to chain one. We're going to flip our work around to the right side. 
the clean side. <laughs> and now we're going to start crocheting in black all the way until we have three chains before the orange. So let's do that. Go all the way until you have three chains in black before the orange. So we are four chains away from the orange, if you can see. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go in in our fourth chain with our black yarn. And now we're going to chain, um, change our colors to orange. Just grab that orange from the back and go in into those three. One, two, three. And you're going to go all the way around to this side and you're going to do three in orange as well. This is our last time doing completely in orange for the jawline and then we're going to start doing the pattern. We're going to interpret the black in the skull. So remember again, bring your black yarn with you as you go along. Perfect. And then just keep going all the way till the other end. This is so nice because it's only two colors. So it's very easy to not get tangled yarn and um, just have so much mess on your table. So now we're going to do three more chains in orange after we completed uh, the row. So one, two, and on our third, we're going to chain our, change our yarn to black. And we're going to continue the rest of the row in black. So continue doing that and I'll meet you guys at the end. So we just completed our third row, congratulations. And now let's mark again our third row and then we'll go on on our fourth row, which is gonna be exciting. Because at this point, we're going to start incorporating the black in the, um, the skull. So let me count the stitches. We're gonna chain one and we're going to turn our work to the wrong side. So now we're going from left to right, don't forget that. And we're going to go all the way until we have one chain left before the orange. So continue in single crochet all the way until we we come to that one chain before the orange. Okay, so we are two chains before the orange. So we're going to go with our black yarn, pull up a loop, and now we're going to chain into our orange. And now we're going to do 11 chains in orange. So one, ten. And then on the 11th, we're going to change our yarn to black. And we're going to do two chains in black. So put your orange yarn to the side, grab your black yarn, and you're going to do two chains in black. I'm so excited. So one. And on the second one, we're going to again change it back to orange and do one orange. So we're working on this little part. Two chains in orange, so the white is the orange. I mean, sorry, the white is the black. Um, and then one chain in uh, blue, which is orange for us, and then two in black, one in uh, blah, 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 blah. one in orange, two in black, and then continue in orange. So one in orange, and then we're going to go back and do two in black. So one, two, one more in orange. So we're almost done with this pattern. And then again, two in black. And then this is where your yarn will get tangly, but we'll untangle right after this. And then two last ones in, uh, in black. One, two. And now you're going to go all the way in orange to the end plus one more in black. So let's switch it back to orange. And again, take your black yarn with you like we've done it before. So you kind of have this little pattern. It's really cool. You'll see it when we switch our work as well. So now continue working in orange all the way till the end. Uh, remember after three chains, or actually let's do after third chain for this. I like to take my black yarn and just kind of go with this. One, two, three. Okay, we're almost done. And so we're just going to do one more extra chain in orange after um, the black yarn. So you're going to go into the black chain right there and do, that's it. And then uh, just do one and then you're going to go back to black and continue the rest in black all the way till the end. Just remember each square on that chart is a chain. So we are at the end of our row. We're going to make sure we mark our work again. And we're going to flip our work to the right side. So we're going to chain one 
and we're going to continue on our fifth row. So when we flip our work, you can see your yarn is very tingly. So all you're going to do is just untangle it before you go on. And always do this because it makes your work way much easier than not doing it. Trust me. Okay, so now we're working on our right side. We're going to chain one and we're going to continue working in our black yarn until we hit one before the orange. So let's keep going with our single crochet. Awesome. So we are two before black, uh, before orange, I mean. So now we're going to go into our chain. We're going to chain our, change our color to orange. Because remember, we're going to put in our first. Now we're going to do four chains in orange. So one, two, again, I'm going to bring my black yarn, three. And then the fourth, we're going to change it to black again. And we're going to do five chains in black. So one, two, three again. Remember what we do to black, we also want to do to orange. Four and then five. And then we're going to do three chains in orange all the way until our first black. So one, two, and then our third, we're going to change it to black. And we're going to do black all the way until this side of the black. So we're going to do eight chains in black. So all these black, the orange, the black, and the orange. So one, seven, and on the eighth, we're going to change our yarn to orange. So we're going to go through that back loop, black loop, um, and then change it to orange. Perfect. So now we have eight chains. And now we're going to continue doing three chains in orange. So one, so the skull is very symmetrical. What I did on this side, we're going to do it on this side. Mm -hmm. One, two, and then the third, we're going to change our yarn to black. And we're going to do five in black. So one, two, three, four. And on the fifth, we're going to change it back to orange. And we're going to continue doing um, just four in orange. So one, two, let's do the black, three, and one more that we're going to do in orange, four. So and then change it to black and then go all the way to the end in black. And obviously you can see how my yarn is tangled. So you can totally untangle it now or wait till the next row. Um, just however, oops. Um, However, however you want to do it. So now I'm going to continue all the way till the end in my uh, black yarn. And so I'll see you guys when I am done. Okay, so I'm going to show you our next row. So we're going to chain one. And then we're going to work from left to right. Just remember that. And we're going to go all the way until our first orange. We're just going to leave one chain in black before the orange. So continue doing single crochet all the way until you're almost at the orange. Okay, so we're two before the orange. So we're going to change our color now to orange. And we're going to do four chains in orange. So we're going to grab our orange yarn. I'm just going to unwind some. Perfect. And we're going to do that first chain right here in orange. So one two grab our black yarn with us three and then fourth after the fourth you're going to change and you're going to make five chains in black so it's going to get messy because you're changing more and more each row so one two three and then again grab that orange with us four and five now we're gonna do four chains in orange i'm just gonna do my black yarn really quick so four chains in orange grab our black push it to the back and bring our orange in front so one two three and on the fourth we're gonna change it back and we're gonna do now three chains in black so one two and on the third we're gonna change it back to orange and we're gonna do two in orange one two 
And after two, we're gonna do go back to black and we're gonna do three in black. So one, two, three. Actually, let me bring the orange. Two, and on our third, we're gonna change it back to orange and we're going to do four in orange. So, one, two, three, and on the fourth, we're gonna change it back to black, and we're gonna do five in black. We're almost there, guys, to the end of the skull. So, one, two, three, four, and then five in black. And now we're gonna change it to orange and do four orange and that's it. And then we're done with the skull. So one, two, just gonna look at our side. Everything looks good to me. Two, bring our black yarn. Three, and then four. And we're gonna go back in black and go all the way till the end in black. So we finished our sixth row and you can see the black is, we're starting to make the pattern of the skull, of the bottom in the jaw. So this is the teeth, so we're not too far away. So now let's turn our work around, chain one and go back. Now we're working on the right side, so it's gonna be from right to left. I'll have the pattern down below so you can you know, go on your own and do whatever you want to do, film to podcasts and just kind of figure out, because I hope you, at this point you should figure out each little square is a chain. That's all you gotta know. All right, so let's keep going. While continue crocheting on my own, I lit up my orange candle and put on Coraline on YouTube. This whole movie is available for free on YouTube and I highly recommend you to watch this in the fall if you haven't already, it's the best. Hi guys, it's 5 p.m. and I just want to do a real quick update because my boyfriend is on his way home and we're going to go to the grocery store to get some dinner. So let me show you what we've gotten so far. So here's how far we've gotten. Do you see the skull already coming in? So we're working on the nose and this is the teeth, obviously. And so we're not even close, like halfway. This is going to be very long. We're just starting the nose, so we still have a lot to go. But here it is, it looks amazing. I made the back very clean by going, remember, every third, fourth chain, you wanna grab that other yarn and follow with you. It's really nice and I'm just gonna show you on Procreate what it looks like. So we're just on the nose. So I'm gonna go grocery shop and then I'll come back and then we'll continue crocheting and hopefully today I'll get to the eyes and then maybe I'll go upstairs and crochet the front piece when I'm hanging out with my brother and his, her girlfriend, eh when I'm hanging out with my brother and his girlfriend. <laughs> and then um, I'll see you guys later for the next update. It's 7.33 a.m. and I have no idea why I'm awake. Last night I ended up going to bed after dinner so I didn't do anything after our last update. So hopefully today we can get a lot of work done and get to the eyes of the skull. We'll see. Hi guys, so it's 10 a.m. and I just ran out of the black yarn. So I'm gonna attach a new yarn, but this is how far we've gotten. It looks so awesome. So I'm gonna put you overhead and show you how I attach my two yarns and make it really seamless. So let's do that really quick. So we're going to grab our new yarn right here and we're gonna grab our old yarn and we're going to place them like this. Kind of like train tracks. And we're gonna take this yarn, our new yarn, and we're gonna make a knot. Just make a knot. Yeah, something like that. And then we're gonna take our old yarn that's attached to our tapish, uh, to our cardigan, and we're gonna make a knot as well. So just cross over, under, and into the loop. So now you have two knots on your yarn, and all you do is pull the yarn. Boom. You pull the yarn, and then you cut off the ends, And there you have it. Very strong attached yarn. So let's continue working on our back piece and I'll meet you guys when I'm done. But first, let me have some ramen. 
So it's 4 p.m. and I actually just woke up. I kind of got super tired and I was like, I'm gonna take a nap for 20 minutes and it ended up being like three and a half hours. So, and the iPad is dead. So I'm gonna put that on charge. And while that's charging, let's start our front panels. We're gonna chain 34 and start working our way up. But here's how far we've gotten on our chart. It looks really cool. So we're not too far, we're actually almost done with the eyes because I'm decreasing already. But how awesome does this look? Definitely very Halloween um, style and I'm super excited to get this um, on my back. Let's put everything together. So let's continue working. I'm gonna start uh, use a different black yarn to start the front panels, which is just again, chain 34. And then we're gonna do single crochet going up. Um, I'll see you guys when I take a break. today I was thinking do I undersell my crocheting cardigans and I would want to hear what you guys think like if you guys can comment down below so I usually sell my cardigans for 150 especially the ones with the design and um, I don't know like I feel like that's too little because you guys as you know seeing my other videos that it takes me you know a week or even longer sometimes to complete a cardigan and it does take a lot of yarn and a lot of work um, and hours. And so 150, is that a good price? Should I go higher? I might sell this one for 200 to see and try it out if that would work. Um, just because I've seen girls who sell tops for $120, you know, and she has huge custom base. And so, and tops don't take that long, you know, you're barely using any yarn. So I don't know, I need to play around and see. So it's 8.37 and it's, pretty gloomy outside so I'm gonna just put on some teapot and listen to some lo-fi and just crochet away so let's do that so I just want to do a quick update it's noon and my buttocks is numb and so let me show you what I've done we're almost there guys we're so close so this is how far we've gotten. It's huge. I'm so excited. Like I can't even fit in the whole screen. Um, and let me show you on my Procreate app. I love the details. On my Procreate app, how far we've gone. So we're, we are literally almost there. Look, sorry, my light is so bright in the back. Um, we only have a few more rows, but like I said, I'm just, my butt is numb. I am hungry. And so let's get up. I uh, reheat some pasta that I made yesterday and then do some dishes, maybe throw trash out and then get back into it and finish it. I'm definitely going to finish this today and I'm super excited to get it done. And I'll post a picture on my Instagram so you guys can see it and maybe my YouTube do a little short clip, but let's keep going. Uh, let's eat some lunch and then we'll come back. So I learned this little tip and pretty much when you warm up pasta, cause it gets kind of dry overnight, you know, you want to put a cup of water in the microwave with the pasta while it's warming up. So, and I've been using that ever since and it's been really helpful actually. It uh, keeps the noodles um, moist <laughs> and uh, just still keeping the flavor and stuff. So it's awesome. Let's do that. Let's eat and then we'll go back to crocheting. So I'm gonna eat my spaghetti and watch the new episode on Hulu that came out of with the Nine Perfect Stranger that you guys seen um, that I'm watching right now. So let's do that. Welcome. You came here to heal. You want me to fix what I see? Took my lunch and now let's get back into crocheting and let's finish the back piece. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, it's 3 p.m. and we finished the back side. It looks awesome like holy crap this is gonna be the sickest cardigan i've ever made like it's so huge and here is the back of it so it's 98 rows and i did do single crochet for this one as well look at this it looks so clean like i can wear it oh, amazing i'm so excited so from now on 
it's gonna be super easy because we're just doing front panel and then just the sleeves and then the ribbing and that's very easy i think this is the most difficult part you know going in and out with different colors but let's continue working on our front panel i'm just gonna pop on my couch throw on some netflix or hulu and then um just catch up with you when i'm done let's do that so real quick update i did finish one of the sides it's huge for the front and i started working on the second one but i'm gonna take a little break and go on a walk i'll take you guys with me and then when we come back we'll have some dinner and then let's get back to crocheting and hopefully finish the second half of the panel and then attach them either today or tomorrow so i found this beautiful trail it's called twin lakes it's right by niwat or it is in niwat it's right next to the avery brewery if you ever get a chance to visit colorado definitely check out this spot and there's two lakes that's why it's called twin lakes and so we're just gonna walk around here's the first lake right here and then the second one is on this side you can kind of see it and so we're gonna walk around do a figure eight and then we'll go back home and make some dinner and crochet so let's go do that it's a beautiful day out so let's get some exercise look at this this is gorgeous the smoke is not as bad as uh, you know that other hike that i did but here's the second lake that i was telling you about and here's the first one that we walk we're walking at so yeah let's keep walking and then hopefully i'm not spending you guys too much and then i'll see you guys later Whoop! yay so i finished both front pieces they are huge they are 98 rows and so i just want to really quick update you it is kind of dark so after 74th row on 75th and all the way to 98 i decrease every other row and i ended up with 22 chains so we started originally with 34 chains and then on the 75th chain we started decreasing from one side only and then we'll do every other row until i have 22 chains because i really enjoyed that v look um if you remember seeing on Totoro cardigan, I did the same thing and it looked amazing and I really liked that. So now I left a long strand and now we're gonna finally attach it to our back piece, which I'm so freaking excited. Let's do that right now and then let's continue doing the sleeve. I am so excited where it's day four, so I'm a little bit procrastinating. I'm not doing as much work, but hopefully today, maybe I'll get half a sleeve done at least. Please, okay, let's do it. Hey guys, so it's 4.30 and I finally finished attaching the front panels to the back. I had a brain fart for a second. So we did leave 30 rows, which is awesome because I have a lot of rooms on my arm. And here's the final look. It looks amazing. I'm super happy how the front turned out, like the V-neck, because the ribbing is going to be flawless, and I'm super excited for that. And uh, yeah, so now I'm wearing a hat because I'm about to go outside, go on another hike in Boulder, and I'm going to take you with me, make it a vlog again, and then we'll come back, and hopefully tonight I can do one sleeve and a ribbing, and then do tomorrow one sleeve, and hopefully the ribbing for the front, and then we should be done. I'm really hoping that i would do my uh hit my deadline so let's go on a hike right now and then um let's come back and keep crocheting Today is day five, six, seven. So quick update. So we did start the sleeve yesterday on the bench and this is how far I've gotten last night watching um, the TV show. And so right now it's 8 a.m. So I'm really hoping today by at least maybe the evening I can get done the whole cardigan, but that means we gotta work really quick. So let's get started. I'm gonna throw something on Netflix again, just to kind of watch and then I'm gonna again pass forward and then I'll catch up with you guys when I'm taking a break. My happy dance. So I finished one of the sleeves and it's about probably 10 a.m. right now. Um, okay, maybe nine. But check it out, it looks awesome. I believe I did 46 rows 
and then I did six rows of the ribbing. It looks awesome. I'm super happy how it turned out. It's super bulky. It's breathable. I can move my arm down and stretch, which I love. And it's it's perfect. It's exactly what I love. I did my front pose, back pose, double crochet, um, and then I decreased as we went closer to our wrist. So let's continue working on the sleeve and see how long it takes, and then we'll come back and hopefully start working on the ribbing. Oh, I'm struggling talking right now. <laughs> but let's keep going, guys. But first, let's take a break and have some tea. Babe, what time is it? It is 11.36. It's 11.36. And I'm actually gonna pack and I'm gonna go up to Breckenridge today because tomorrow is Labor Day. You know what, what's tomorrow? Is it Labor Day? Yeah. Okay, it's Labor Day, so he has it off. And so I was thinking to go up to Breck to my parents' house and just kind of chill for a day, finish the cardigan and take beautiful pictures there because I know the leaves are turning yellow and orange already. So I'm gonna be super excited when I finish this cardigan to take some cool pictures when, I'm, when I get up there. So I'm super excited. But here is the finished uh, sleeve. And then we just have a couple more rows, uh, maybe 25, 30 rows. Um, I will tell you when I'm done with this sleeve, I wanna say I did 46 rows and then I did six rows of ribbing. But I'll let, you, I'll let you know exactly when I'm getting towards the end of the sleeve, when I finish it. So today I'll probably, yeah, I'll definitely finish it today. Hopefully I'll start on a ribbing today because tomorrow we want to leave early break and take the pictures. So let's go up to Breckenridge. I'll take you guys with me. little update I made it to Breckenridge and it's a beautiful day outside so I'm just gonna sit on the porch at my mom's house and my dad's house and I'm just gonna crochet away I think I have maybe five more rows left until I'm finished so let's do that I'm gonna fast forward again put some lo-fi beads over and then I'll come back when I'm done completely with the sleeves which is so close <laughs> It's 6.41 and I finally finished the sleeves, which I'm so excited about. So I did 46 rows total and then I did six rows of ribbing. So it's perfect, you know, if someone orders and they have longer sleeves, they got plenty of room to work with. And so here's the cardigan, pretty sick. And so now we have the last step, which is the ribbing, which I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna go back inside the house, go on the couch, chill, watch something, listen to a podcast, finish this up, and then tie in all the ends. And then tomorrow morning, I'm super excited. We're gonna go on a beautiful walk with a bunch of trees and in the mountains, and we're gonna take awesome photos. So stay tuned for that. So let's keep going. It's almost midnight, and I thought I should crochet on the porch since we are making a spooky cardigan. So here I am sitting on the porch, finishing up the front ribbing, which is three front posts and one back post double crochet all the way around. Hey guys, it's Monday, Labor Day, and I finally finished the cardigan yesterday at 12.50 something, so 1 a.m. I'll show a picture up here because I didn't want to record that late. Uh, but here it is, it's done. I did five rows of ribbing, three front posts, one back post, double crochet, and it turned out really good. Here's the back. And so thank you guys so much for watching and going on this fun adventure with me. I can't wait to make more Halloween cardigans. I have two or three more on my list. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you on my next one.